so we'll look on the concept how we can create mask but you don't need always to do this for example we can go ahead and maybe create a new colorizer okay, let's bring it right around here maybe connect another pearl and noise if you need it or in some cases we'll just take a wear map and we can just connect this way so let's just add here we'll go create just look on different type of the maps I think it's limestone may work better for this one okay we'll just need connect to our combiner so I'm just copy combiner take this output boot on top set our colorizer and we can take the wear map and connect as a mask input so right here you can preview we add a little bit on outside wear map okay as well um let's make a different and set root where for example we'll use a screen it's will make slightly brighter and we can bring a little bit toned down so a little bit more transparency okay reconnecting to our overlay So you can see we start having a little bit better shape now with weather where or adding on a side kind of worn out so the mountain get better and better colors um now let's go work with a deposit map as well and we'll just do similar things so we'll just take a connect right here take another colorizer connect let's connect and noise to this colorizer and connect to the map okay now on this colorizer we, we can just select any other um, you may like a different colors try different ones see which one will work better for specific mountain or create your own map okay we can connect to this one let me adjust just preview so right here you can see where we can supply it as well um, overlay a root type I'll just leave it like this now let's preview and right here we have it a very nice applied deposit so it's look more as a sand kind of mountain we can apply some green maybe create overall um, maybe vegetation but I think this is kind of okay except right here that I still may take um, some of these colors and modify them a little bit better actually this one probably I want to bring kind of stronger effect to that okay, actually let me go select here yeah a little bit reddish kind of more worn out I think this look a little bit better okay so let's go start coloring our mountain on the middle and maybe just add some snow and other effect a little bit, little bit add effect of the um, isolation kind of okay so we go inside and one thing what I want to do is use the flow map to apply some coloring so I'm going to select this color in nodes combiner so I'm going to reuse them okay oops okay we'll go to select our flow use it again as a mask for this and because this flow inside I don't really worry about them overlaying too much with our um, color but right here on the colorizing I actually want to use it something a little bit more colder maybe a little bit of white color kind of desaturate it so maybe even Okay, let's click OK. 
Okay. Preview right here. We can also go in and let's set on a screen. Okay, our combiner set. Okay, and we'll just connect right here. So overall, you can see we have it slack up apply. Let me open. Oops, actually, we'll go to the root and right there in the middle, you can see. Actually, right here, maybe you can show very good with uh, if we need to create any specific mask for that one. Because if we look and preview, you can see we have a flow, but they start going on top of this mountain. Right here, see they're going down and they kind of start going up. So what I want to do, I want to take this mask now and combining. So the masks start blur out maybe around this area. So they don't go too far out, but I still want them creating around here. This is one way. Another way we can do because it's come down here, we can set the um, clipping mode on an altitude. So for example, let's can go down and we can clip them kind of right here on the bottom. So let's go back and preview. And we have it just simple. We'll go to our field. Let's go select our clipping. Okay, and um, actually I, don't, I need only one clipping. We'll go take flow, add it to our clipping map. And you can preview in ways you want to expand or so we go and clip, expand. So maybe slightly right there. And you notice this kind of doesn't work. We need to use the high field for this, for the clipping. Okay, so we can Probably clip a little bit. Okay, let me run this area. Just go up to here, probably around. Okay, that is will be our um output. And right now we can we also can preview you can see where our clipping is occurred except now we just only clip height we don't have it any output of flow map so when you go to create additional combiner and we need to mix it between our flow map and our clipping map so the combiner we can separate and uh, control it as well. We also in a clipping area in this way, we also don't need input. I need to just take it, go put it to the mask. Okay, so I'm also going to just connect two of them. And next I want to actually take this clam and invert here. So we'll go to add invert to this one connect to our inner proof and preview and right here you can see we have it subtract so we can remove this area around that's what I'm going to just maybe make around this area and now we can use them as the uh, masking and you can see at this moment we just created right on the middle okay if we preview Yeah, let's go preview round, okay, render. So you can see now we ha we don't have those overlay going over, so we just constrain them to specific this area. Again, all what I'm done, I created a combiner. We take a clamp from the high field, adjusting to what area we want to cover. We need to invert that and we can use it as a mask. Also, another thing you notice right here, because it is combiner, I'm using 
two of the same element from the flow map you can combine different node and just check what the result will provide but overall it's combined mask for our flow that we want to create inside so let's try just for fun to create a bunch of different ones i know you mostly you won't use it but i just want um create a difference so we have a kind of fun and see what other ones we can create add it so i'm going to create a new combiner okay i'm going to um create a new colorizer and you know what let's um just create a different problem noise right here and just like orange and blue yeah let's do this one we'll use it on our colorizer as well Okay, we'll go to add this from top right here. We'll create it, colorizer add right to this point. And I want maybe just add this tone. Okay, let's select maybe even limestone. Let's see what else we have it maybe dirty look but I want to put it on top of the mountains a little bit greenish out or maybe on the bottom so for that one I want to take a clamp tool and nice things we can take it our combiner oops right here and connect to our clamp tool go to expand and you can see I can just says okay we'll take overall but notice it will take our main and surrounding so it will blend them together we can connect to our tools let's say a root and you can see right here how it start blending both of them okay, we can go to preview so right here we have a little bit on this side and on that mountain so it's kind of start blending overall so another one coloring and we can also just take it you know and create maybe inside the valley green one so I want to take this layout right inside that area and just select the height and use it maybe green valley inside or maybe a lava a positive depend which way you want to go so for this one actually we'll go to use its selector and we'll use its select height so let's connect it to our select height and you notice right in this area I can actually modify and select the different heights so for now I'm just guessing put it linear about that area okay we'll go create new combiner and you know what let's create also new colorizer as well so we'll add right here Oops. okay let's go to uh, select from here to our colorizer we go select maybe um, something granite that will work very well take our high field connect it to mask as well Okay, and you notice right here it's we're masking just on the middle. So kind of preview. Click OK. And we connect. The one thing by doing this, you'll notice it's covered all my mountain. But it's give you some ideas. We also can separate this mountain, removing again if you need, but overall right here and um, you know because we're using layers it's maybe worth just to bring this before we apply colors on our mountain so I'm going to actually insert this maybe around right here so we'll go add and we'll just go place right around just insert that node in this area okay on this case we just have it kind of like almost green valley you can see how the layers will overlay 
just going over um, again if we want to make a little bit more um, let's do you know kind of like lava almost okay, add a little bit more here there you go so in this case just look a little bit more scared this middle mountain but again we isolated this middle area as well if you want you can create the water maybe on the middle sometime and mask out other by the height but here we start having nice uh, materials applied to our effect okay so let's um i want to add a couple more houses i want to add maybe some white or snow on top 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 so we'll do this in the next tutorial